Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys I have got one of these and this is a custom friction folder made by none other than Ev over at Leading Edge Knife Works. So this is Ev's own personal knife and he has sent it over to me to do a review on. So thank you very much for that Ev, it means an awful lot. And look at that beautiful piece of kit. Now this is an absolutely wonderful piece of kit that has been handmade by Ev at Leading Edge Knife Works. So on to the first point and that would be the box. However, this arrived in its lo lovely leather pouch. And you would not get one of these in a lovely leather pouch, unfortunately, if you were to purchase one from Ev. It would, however, come in an awesome padded Kudura pouch. And that is absolutely fantastic that you get one of those with one of these bad boys when you purchase it. And on to the price point, and that is coming in at £200. So... I can totally understand why these are coming in at £200 because they are fully custom made and they are obviously made by hand at the minute by Ev. So on to the um, third point actually which is the colour and the scales. So like I was saying these are completely handmade by Ev and you've got the wood here and this is briar wood. And look at the gorgeous colours involved in that and on the back side as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then they are joined together with a piece of G10 and copper up here. So it's got the copper bolsters on there. So that's why you can see them patinering. And obviously in and out of the sheath you have the uh, slight wear marks as well. But from using it you can see where it's mainly being used, like a saw. So, on to the jimping. And because it is a friction folder, it does, I feel, need to have some jimping on it. Because when you close it like so, you need to put some weight on it to obviously stop it from closing in. And this jimping, whatever this master Ev has done to it, is absolutely grippy as hell like look at look at those cuts that he's created in there that is probably one of the grippiest jimpings i've ever had the pleasure of using and i'm not just saying that that is seriously grippy and i've been using that every single day since he sent it to me which was just over a week ago i think so on to the fourth point, which is the carry style. And because this is a friction folder, um, well, not that all friction folders don't have a pocket clip, but just this one especially doesn't. So you will have to carry it in a pouch like so, or a leather pocket organizer, or in your pocket. I mean, I'm sure if you talk to Ev, if you are thinking about getting one of these, he may possibly be able to add a clip on there if that's something you are thinking of. So on to the blade steel, and that is coming in at 80 CRV2. Now, I have never ever owned or had the pleasure of using, sorry, anything that is 80 CRV2. Now I want some ADCR V2 because this is an absolutely fantastic steel. I don't know what he's done to it. I don't, like I said, he's done this by hand. He's created all of this from bare, bare materials. So he's got his block of wood, he's got his block of copper, he's got his block of steel, and he's made this. I mean, come on, that, that's pretty cool in the first place. But this steel has been through literally everything i can try and get a knife through uh, for example my food every day for one week has been cut with this knife along with everyday cardboard packaging so say for example i get roughly about 
uh, 20 to 30 packages a day at my work that has gone through every single one of those for one week so yeah try adding that one up i'm crap at maths but someone might be able to work that one out for myself um also we've had the regular shanaz so we've had the uh cop the copper the sheathing the cable the carpet the foam um obviously the food or oh, that's number five the food packaging all of the tape we've had rope we've had paracord this week we've had what else have we had we've had we've had a bit of clothing actually i know it's just sort of like general material i think it was polyester or something so no, nothing too serious but every single day this has been well and truly used and it has absolutely punched it's just gone nuts and i love this still so when we get to the shaving sharp you will understand why so on to the uh, centering and the lock and the centering as you can see is bang on because i've made it and also it's uh it's lock comes in the form of this bar up here like i was saying earlier you need to put some weight on that to hold the blade from stopping it from chomping on your fingers so on to the next point um before we get to that next point though i just have to mention i don't think you can quite see in there but it is running on copper washers and i don't know what it is about copper washers and the way this was put together but it just feels utterly gorgeous opening and closing it it is just a treat because if you if you listen closely it's just got that really nice sort of it's not even a thud it's more of a like you know when your teeth go together i suppose you could call that it's just it's just got a really really nice satisfying open and close and it's not a, it's not a click it's not a thud it's just sort of it's sort of met with a bit of softness i suppose you could say but also the opening and the closing i would probably say it is close to i wouldn't say buttery smooth because it's it's it is smooth but it's slightly thick at the same time it's kind of hard to describe i'm going to go for syrupy butter or buttery syrup i think we're going to call that so it's 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 thick and it's nice it doesn't it doesn't jolt about when you're trying to open it like some of the other friction folders i have it doesn't jolt about like that it is just ever so smooth and buttery but also thick as well <laughs> yeah i'm going on but it's yeah you get the point so on to the length i will just move this out of the way uh, here we are the cutting edge is coming in at uh i would call that five just under if not five and a half centimeters and then the entire length whilst open we are coming in at oh just over 14 so 14.1 14.2 i'd go on that one and then it closed you are looking at just the scale wise you're looking at ooh, eight eight point three i'd call that centimeters and then with the extended uh, i guess you could call that a tang i suppose the extended piece with the jimping on it that makes more sense i suppose <laughs> you're looking at uh, 10.5 centimeters so on to the screw size and you've got one two three four on each side as you can see and i will start off with the smaller ones and i'm pretty sure they are these ones here we will just have a little look yes that's a snug fit that's also a snug fit and another snug fit there to the reverse one snug fit two snug fit three snug fit 
So that is looking in at 86. And then the pivot screw itself is, I think, this one. Yep, nice and snug. Nice and snug. And that is coming in at 88. So I'm not going to open this. I haven't opened it because obviously it is not my knife. Um, but yeah, those are the tools that you would need if you were to get one of these. Now let's have a look at the logos. So yeah, we'll start with this side. And that is the ATCRV2 etched into the blade on the back side there. And then on the front side, you are looking at the Leading Edge Knife Works logo, also etched in on the front of this blade. And nothing else anywhere on there in terms of logo wise. Now onto the hair pop itself. Let's see if we can find some hairs to pop like the popcorn. So we will go all the way up the top here. Oh, listen to that popping already. I should have gone up. Should have gone up. Oh, absolutely beautiful. So, don't know if they've caught them. Maybe not. Let's see if we can catch some this time. Just on camera. They are popping. I can hear them popping. Just trying to catch them is a nightmare. All right, let's try here. Probably haven't got many in here. Have we got any on there? There is a few there. There you can see it all the way down there. It is, I can guarantee you, popping hairs 100%, and you can even hear it as well. But it is just, I have, the amount of times I do this, I think my hair's not growing back now. <laughs> so I might have to change over and try to do everything uh, onto the right hand. But uh, yeah, I'll just grab a few knives just so you can have a comparison on there. And we've got the Money Hands G-Slip. And that's what I'd bring out another friction folder, which is Tahik no Kami. Just so you can see against another friction folder. And also something a little relevant as well is the Squid. And uh, that's quite small. But it's more that size, so let's go for the round here, like so. So, size wise, you are looking at pretty much <laughs> the exact size of a squid that is including edge to edge. I'd say that is pretty darn that's uncanny. I think maybe by a hair width, it is longer on the blade side. Um, but yeah, that is that is awesome. So size wise, very close to a squid, but overall, you know, it, it's, it's a fantastic blade. And I think if you are after a handmade blade, I would seriously consider giving Ev a call because this is just absolutely fantastic. Also, I don't know if I did mention as well, the, uh, the G10 liners on there and also, there is this white piece here. Um, there's the obviously the piece of copper here, but also he added in an extra piece of uh, G10. That's the white bit there, because um, yeah, just so it could uh, all fit very nice and snug and all like that. And if anybody is worrying, etc., about you know, for example, uh, the fit and finish around these certain pivot screws, um. Honestly, I've seen his work now and it is just, well, I've seen it grow, in fact, and it is just second to none. You do not need to worry about anything like that. He, you know, this is his knife, so he he probably, you know, doesn't mind it being like that. And plus it adds a bit of character, you know, so it's just, it, it is what it is for a handmade knife. It, you get character with it and... This is one heck of a knife maker that is making these. So if you fancy it, give him a shout. And uh, thank you very much again, Ev, for uh, the pleasure. So until the next one.
thank you very much and I'll see you then.